Hello, my name is Eugene Skeef. I'm a London-based South African poet, percussionist, composer, educationalist, mentor, and creative workshop leader. I also work in conflict resolution, act as a consultant on cultural development, teach creative leadership, and I'm a broadcaster. I'm the artistic director of Umoya Creations, a charity I set up with my partner Azra Kayani to facilitate my international work. I can trace the cultivation of most of my work to my upbringing in Clermont Township in Guazulu Natal, as well as my time as an activist alongside Steve Biko and others in the black consciousness movement during apartheid South Africa. My interest in poetry began very early in my life. I started reading at two, and by the time I was five, I was writing poetry, which I shared with my fellow pupils at primary school. Not long after that, I was writing dramas at secondary school, mainly themed on the inequalities of apartheid and the associated poverty of the community I grew up in. I had a gift for drawing and painting, which I also applied to my activism as a young man. For instance, I drew the original clenched fist symbol of the Biko-led Black Consciousness Movement. I also used screen printing to produce freedom slogans on t-shirts as a university student. I was forced into exile in 1980. That's how I landed in London, where I quickly became a part of the anti-apartheid activism with a host of other exiled South African artists. Soon after my arrival, I became director of Oval House Music School, where I developed my unique workshop method that I took to the rest of the world. I was instrumental in developing the education departments of some of the major UK orchestras, including the London Philharmonic, the London Sinfonietta, and the Royal Scottish National Orchestra. When Nelson Mandela became president of the newly democratic South Africa, I began making a series of return visits as a way of transplanting my education workshops back to the communities where the original inspiration of my techniques was rooted. My vision for South Africa, the continent of Africa, and our place in a globalized world is inspired by my undiminished memory of my beautiful brother, Steve Biko. This charismatic leader once said, and I quote, in time, we shall be in a position to bestow on South Africa the greatest possible gift, a more human face. Close quote. I close my eyes in meditation and envision a world with a more human face. Because at the present rate, the future of the world is in a profoundly precarious state. The principal reason for this is the destruction visited upon the planet as a result of rampant materialism. This culture of consumerism and selfishness has led us deep into a mired obsession with the individual at the expense of the community. Consequently, we have become completely incapacitated to solve poverty, racism, climate change and other calamities with which our species is beset. I believe that we desperately need to reinvest in the life-affirming values of the African village eloquently expressed in the philosophy of Ubuntu, whereby a person is a person through other people, or I am because you are. This culture of selflessness is our only ticket out of this mess.